Hello, Laura Leader here with Law Office Solution. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take an image of your signature and save it as an auto text in Microsoft Word so that you can just pop it into any document anytime and drag it around, do whatever you want with it. So the first thing you need is an image of your signature, and you're going to want a transparent background. I have a vi separate video on how to do that, and I'll link to that in the description of this video so that you, if you don't know how to get the image, you can watch that one. But for right now, we have the image, and I know where it is. I saved it on my computer, and in File Explorer, I know where it is. It's kind of important when you go to get it to know where the file is. So I'm in Microsoft Word, and this happens to be Word 2016, but what I'm going to show you will work for, um, well, from Word 2007 on, um, you can do this. So first I need to insert my image. So I go to Insert Ribbon and go to Picture. It is a picture of my image, of my signature, I should say. And then I could double click that or Let's see if I can drag this so you can see. See the insert button? It doesn't want to stay. I'll just double click. That pops it in. Now I've got two things I want to do to this image of my signature before I save it as the auto text entry. The first is I want to change the way the text wraps so that this can just go over things. Right now, see I have a line in my document. I can't just drag this over it. It came in as what's called inline with text, which means it's, it's like a piece of text. If I'm typing, it pushes it. If I press enter, it moves down. It is with the text. I want it to be more like a picture that I can just drag around. And in the case of my signature, I don't want text to wrap around it. I want text to go right behind it. So if I have a line like this, I can put it right over the line. So I'm going to click the signature. And on the Format ribbon, which appears when I click it, I can go to Format, Wrap Text, and tell it in front of text. I want it in front of text. Some people will do an image with a white background instead of transparent and put that behind the text. It's easier to create that kind of image. But if you do that, it's a lot harder once the image is in Word to grab it and move it because it's behind everything. And Word will keep thinking you're clicking on the text and not the image. It's a major pain. So I like to do a transparent background and put it in front of the text. And look, now you can see that my image, because the background is transparent, I can just drag it around, easily move it. And if I happen to have a signature line, it looks like I literally wrote on the piece of paper. So. The other thing that I'm not happy about is the size of it. This is too big. Now, when it comes to resizing images, it's fine if your image that you make is larger than you want and then you make it smaller in Word, but you really don't want to go the other way. You don't want to have a little tiny image and try to stretch it because it'll lose quality and look grainy and it just won't look good, uh, probably. So I want to make this smaller. I can click on it. Once again, I have the format ribbon appears when I click on the picture. And I will change the size. Over here is the height and width. And so I could change either one of these numbers and the other one, will it'll stay proportionate and change, which is nice so it doesn't get skewed where it looks really fat or really skinny. So I'll just say, instead of one and a half inches, I'd like this to have a one inch height. I just type that and I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and that changed the size. And I'm happy with that, but if I wasn't, I could um, you know, keep trying. You can also drag the edges of these. You just have to be careful because it's very easy to you know, skew it, where you know, it doesn't stay in proportion necessarily when you're dragging. And I'm going to undo the last two things I just did. I press Control Z to do that. Um, OK, so I'm happy with the way it looks. I don't want to save that line. I just want to save my image. And I'll just move it. Let's say I just want it to pop up in sort of in the middle of the page when I pop it into a document. So put it position it roughly where I want it. I'm going to click it. And now I'm going to save it as an auto text entry. Oh, there's one thing I want to show you before I do that. The reason I want to save it as an auto text entry is so that I 
can potentially get a tooltip for it. And a tooltip is looks like this. I'm going to start typing today's date. Oops, I went, I've gone too far. See that little box that pops up? When you get to the fourth character, as long as the name is unique, if there's an auto text entry, Word is supposed to give you this little tooltip. You can also save this as a quick part, but for quick parts, you don't get the tooltip. Now, I keep saying it's supposed to because I've been having trouble where my tooltips are not appearing, and I've done just a little research on the internet, and it seems a common problem. So um, I'll tell you, first of all, if you have Word 2007, you're not going to get a tooltip. They don't have the actual auto text in 2007 uh, with the tooltips, but you can save it as a quick part. In the newer versions, 2010 through 2016 right now, you should get the tooltip if you do what I'm going to show you, but if you don't, um, I can't tell you why. I haven't found out why it's not working yet. Um, but let's show, let me show you how to create the thing. Okay, so I've selected it. I just clicked on the image, and I'm going to go to Insert once again, and then I'm going to go to Quick Parts. Now, my Quick Parts button is going to be over to the right in the text area. Yours may actually say Quick Parts, um, but I've got my stuff sort of downsized or shrunk um, to fit for the video. So you go to Insert Quick Parts, and then you want to go to Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Now, if you have Word 2007, I don't know if you have this option, but in any of the newer versions, right here where it says Gallery, you want to switch it to Auto Text. That's how you get the tooltip, supposedly. And then you're going to give it a name. Now, the name you want to give it is something unique. When you get to the fourth letter, as long as it's unique, that's when you will get the tooltip. So if I wouldn't want to do Signature Laura, Signature Joe, Signature Sue as names, because then I'd have to type Signature plus start the person's name to get something unique. Um, for this, per our purposes here, I will just say, um, I'll, do, I'll just do my name. And I'll leave everything else alone, just making sure I chose auto text here. It's going to save it in my normal.temp and I will say OK. Now I created it. Let me open another blank document. I just press Control N to do that. Now to get it, there are a few ways you could do it. You can go back to Insert, and because I saved it as Auto Text, if I go to those quick parts, see Auto Text here? Oh, I have to, I have to move my video here. Actually, I just moved my document. Um, but I wanted you to be able to see this menu. Okay, so when I go to Insert Quick Parts, the little drop down, Auto Text is a choice, and then you can see all your Auto Text entries. Now, you, if you have a lot, you may be digging through a lot of things, but if you see it, you could pop it in. You can see I was practicing with a picture of a cow. Um, but I can click, and now in the document I was in, there it is. The other thing you can do is just start typing whatever you named it. Now, I should have gotten the tooltip here. Um, and that's where I'm saying, for some reason, it's not working. But yours probably will. Mine usually does. Um, so if you see that little tooltip, which looked like this, then you just press Enter, and it would pop it in. In my case, I'm not, but I know what I named it. And I know that this much is unique. So I can press F3 on the keyboard. So that's the workaround. And for anyone with Word 2007, if you're not getting the tooltip, just type what you named it. And, it. and it can be short. It doesn't have to be um, four letters long if you're not worried about the tooltip. So you might just do your initials and then press F3, and that will pop it in. F3. And there it is. Now, because the way I set it up, I can just drag it anywhere I want it very easily. So if I had a little signature block down here, let's say, let me move this up here for a minute. I'm just tabbing with underline on to draw that line. Turn underline off. I was pressing control U if you care. And then there we go.